What's up guys, this is Berg Music, and today we're going to be unlocking Priceless Camo in Modern Warfare 3. We're currently sitting at 27 out of 36 for the Forge Camo Challenges. We only have 9 guns left to do. And honestly, even though today's been super exhausting, we're going to push through it. We're going to get this camo, man. Going to do it for you guys. So all we have left right now is a couple of shotguns, a couple of LMGs, and then all of the marksman rifles. And I'm really hoping this isn't going to be too bad, man. I really think the most difficult part about this is trying not to lose my mind while doing these challenges because I've been playing so much Modern Warfare 3 today. I'm currently recording this on Monday and I woke up I edited the video that you guys saw yesterday and pretty much immediately after that I was streaming on Twitch I was camo grinding I finished out all of the weapons that I needed to level up I got gilded camo for everything and then pretty much immediately after that I was playing the optic GGCS tournament it was a search and destroy tourney we're playing for $150,000 right now the final matches I believe are going to be starting next Monday if you guys want to catch that on Twitch our team's currently 4-3 and I cannot wait to play those final matches dude it's going to be intense it should be really good but for now it's camo grinding time we're going to finish this up you already know where we're going for this man but like I've said before do not drop a like and do not subscribe until I get this camo. But one thing I would heavily recommend doing is checking out G Fuel's Black Friday BOGO going on from now until the 27th. They sent over some tubs that fluoresce under blacklight and they just look so cool. And dude, this camo grind would not be possible without G Fuel keeping me awake and focused on this. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll have a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's get some camos. Now, some of these I already do have some progress on. I was playing with Karina and Matt. So I'm not starting these fresh, but I mean, the camo grind has already been kind of messy, you know? I wanted to try to like record and document everything, but I've just been too busy. It's been too crazy, man. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've been daily uploading for almost like three weeks now, and I haven't posted anything to nerd plays yet. I'm so sorry. As soon as things calm down, I will try to get some more uploads on there too, and I might try to maintain the daily uploads. We'll see. I hate how I have to play for some of these challenges. I. Whoa. No! Five shots! Please repeat. Thank you! You have no idea, bro! <laughs> Please don't see me. Don't kill me. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, there's double. Oh, shit. Let's go. Come on. Ah. Where are you going, buddy? I'll wait it out. We got half the magazine. Come on. Oh, we got six shots now. Come on, dude. Three shots. I can still do this. <laughs> Fuck! Yes! I don't know if it's going to count. I don't know if I have to get the reload. I don't know if you die on the three kill streak, if it counts or not, but I mean, I'm going to take it. I'm going to believe that that actually counted. We're downstairs. We're going for the shotguns. Come on. Three hit fire kills with one magazine 15 times, and then the riveter, you just have to get multi kills. So I don't know. This lobby's kind of sweaty. Maybe we'll just go for the multis. Miracle double. Wait, they got the defuse ready? Wait, what? Oh my. Yes, thank you. Oh, oh, I thought I got something done. No. Push for it. Yes, it was worth it. That's why you go for it. You know, the worst part about this camo grind right now is the fact that Rust is about to be added. 10v10 is about to be added, and I'm not going to really have to play much of that at all for doing any of the multiplayer camo grind. I mean, maybe some of the priceless challenges, but we'll see. Also, some crazy COD timing is the fact that today of all days is the day that Sludgehammer Games is doing a Reddit AMA, which is basically like, we can ask them anything about the game. And instead of people asking them important questions, they were just spamming asking about skill-based matchmaking, which don't get me wrong, it's not like skill-based in this game is not an important topic. Topic, but they're not going to talk about it. I don't know why people can't figure this out. They were getting berated almost every single thing that they did. Someone brought up skill-based matchmaking no matter what was happening. And they didn't answer anything because it's just not going to happen. Look, I'm not trying to defend skill-based over here. You guys know that, but I'm just saying they're not going to talk about it. And this is so annoying because I feel like there's issues that should be addressed. I would have loved to hop on and talk about private matches and stuff like that. Being able to save the settings of the custom games and being able to save your custom default classes. But none of that stuff happened. Oh my, that was beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you for the quad. More. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Dude, while I was streaming, I actually hit a six-man headshot feed while going for marksman rifle headshots. I'll have to see if I can find the clip and show you guys. Nice. Six-man headshot! Woo! 
But yeah, I think there's a lot of other things going on with the game and other issues that could have been brought up and talked about, but people were just spamming skill-based matchmaking. I don't know, man. It's just, it's stupid. The biggest issue right now for me on Modern Warfare 3 that I think is actually even more important than any kind of skill-based matchmaking conversation is the packet burst and the packet loss. At the start of the round, for every single match in multiplayer, I get packet burst. I get, like, really bad frame drop and stuff. I don't know if anyone asked about it because they were just getting spammed with other stuff that I just don't feel like was as important. What? Yo! That's my second cross map. I hit it on PlayStation before and I recorded it, but you know, you guys know how PlayStation recording goes. The higher likelihood you're gonna see it if it happens while we're recording right now. Dude, that was sick. That spot where I threw it is actually so consistent. Let's go, dude. You already know, this camo grind has been so good. It's one thing to get the camos, but it's also another thing to be able to like hit clips and do cool shit like that. I love it. We've been popping off, dude. Wait, it's a 3v6 right now? Okay, hold on, we're dipping. Nope. Okay, so we're halfway done with the three kills with one mag. For this one, we have to get tax stance kills. I might go to hardcore for that just because the DM56 is kind of trash in core. It's better in hardcore. Very weak gun. It's just very underwhelming. How are we doing on the shotguns? Okay. Okay, we're halfway done with those hip fire challenges. Only eight more multi kills. We're, we're getting it done. We're going. Miracle. Absolutely. I don't even know where I am. Nice. What the? Close one, bro. Oh! <laughs> I don't know what that thing is, but it's dead. What is the fire rate? Dude, what the? Oh, come on. One more, one more. Where did bro go? I don't know. I gotta ignore him. Oh, shit. Woo! Close one, dude. Okay. Groot. The Groot's a rat. You are so weird. He left the game. Yes! We're killing it, lads. Let's go. Which, by the way, is a prime example. Tell me why spamming my scoreboard gives me a packet burst. Why does touching the scoreboard do that? That actually just makes no sense. I've also tried tweaking this one graphic setting, turning it on and off, the whole on-demand texture streaming. It has, like, no effect on the packet loss stuff, though. I just really have no clue what it is. Yes! I don't want to have to do this challenge anymore. I'm done with it. I'm not actually done, but I want to be done. I'm gonna be honest. I don't like the marksman rifles. The challenges especially. Like, how come one of the base camo challenges is get 50 headshots? But then gilded camo is like, get 10 kills while using a laser sight. What? I'm okay with the easy laser challenge, but come on. 50 headshots? Not even for something cool? Like, what is that? Dog sh Dog player. If you go up there with a trick shot or just like goof around in a private match, I get it. But come on. I've seen so many people doing the glitch just to exploit it. Just to get cheap kills. And if he's hacking up there, I swear to God, I'll leave. Oh my God, he's noob to big in the spot. <laughs> he got someone. What's kind of crazy right now is we haven't actually gotten forged for any specific gun yet. At least while recording. Like, the whole thing with these forged camo challenges is that it's kind of like, not really like a marathon, but there's an endurance to it. Like, when playing war, I try to use certain guns at certain sections because they just have more strength at certain areas. Like, the shotguns are just extremely good at the end. But for now, we're just gonna spam terminal and hope for the best. Noob tube. Okay. Interesting choice, sir. There we go. Is that the last one? One more. Literally one kill. There it is. Come on, give it to me. What the? That's gotta be it. There we Okay, we got our forge. There we go. Let's go for some tax hands kills. Let's knock it out. Wait, what? Oh, we got a gilded camo challenge thing too. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Tax dance is honestly not too bad. Oh, okay, if we could aim. Oh, we got an advance. Let's go. Oh, it's over now. Hey, we got the forge. I, mean, I was pre firing that. I wasn't sure they're gonna peek it, but there we go. Oh, we need one shot kills with the KVD Enforcer. Oh, that's so easy. All right, 25 one shots with this thing, and the Marksmans, I think, are done then. Oh, wait, no, they're not. <laughs> we still have the MTZ Interceptor too, but we only have seven guns left now. Okay, yeah, we got 16 that game. That was easy. That's gotta be it. Come on, pop it up. Pop it up. 
Do it. Never mind. There's no way I don't have this. I've gotten so many one shots already. There it. Okay, now it popped up. Three down, six to go. What is this thing's challenge? I think it's three kill streaks. Piece of cake. Although honestly, I'm kind of getting tired of using marksman rifles. Like I need to mix it up. This is why I like playing war. Oh my god, what a spawn! What the? What a spawn, dude. He. Nope, he lagged. I'm done. Back to war. Wait, I didn't know I got any of this progress. What? I don't know if it was tracking like two kill streaks. That's weird. Yeah, the shotguns are getting pretty close to being done. It's the LMGs that I'm kind of saving for last because those are going to be the easiest. There's obviously been some somewhat frustrating forge camo challenges. I think the one that made me rage the most was weirdly enough the karambit. Actually, no, not the karambit, but the gutter knife because you have to get a five kill streak bloodthirsty, but you can cheese it by getting gun kills and then just make sure that the fifth kill. And anything beyond that is a kill with the gutter knife and you're set. I did cheese it, but it still tracked weird. Like, I had to do more than I thought I was going to have to. We got to defuse this. We got to play this section. Come on. Yes, come on. Keep coming in here, dude. I just channeled my inner bald eagle right there. Or pigeon. I mean, honestly, I don't know. One more. Who's it gonna be? I'll wait here. I hate- nope. That could have backfired so poorly. <sighs> He's planting. I feel so bad about this. <laughs> I really hope it's just the first round, please. Now, for this one, it doesn't matter if we reload or not. We just have to get three kill streaks. Oh, wait, he's right there. Oh, oh. Wait, bloodthirsty. Oh, wait. Now, I don't know if this challenge can get bugged or not. Killing. They have six people. Where are the people? Honestly, I don't know how much progress you get if you just, like, get a really big streak going. I don't know how that works. But that was pretty good, though. Beautiful. Let's go. There we go. Or what? Oh, <laughs> it's the AI that's up there. I'm genuinely so confused. How and why did it unlock right there? That makes no sense. But we are now done with forge camo on all of the marksman rifles. We're moving towards the end. I might as well just bust out the shotguns now. Oh, don't kill me. Actually, no, I need to die. F that. Let's go. Okay, I really hope we don't plant this too fast. There's some really good potential to get these shotguns on. If this goes well and it plays long enough, I could actually just knock out all the shotguns. Now, straight up, I already did the Lockwood 680. It was extremely easy. I did play Hardcore Terminal for that one, and I just ADS and got the one-shot kills 25 times. You could do it in core, but in Hardcore, I mean, it's just easier. That thing can get, like, 30-meter long shots, too. It's ridiculous. So its one-shot killing potential is just extremely good. I mean... We're almost there, boys. We're almost there. I'll let you get the defuse. I just need the one kill. You know what? Worth it. Worth it. Are we done? Oh, it's going to end though. No, please. No, 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 no. Oh my God. What a game, dude. I don't know exactly where that puts us with the shotguns, but we'll get it done, man. Love to see it, dude. Let's go. Only five more, dude. Ah. Oh. We could have had a cheeky quad right there, dude. Yeah, I don't know why I decided for this thermal, but I mean, this is what we got. It's kind of a stupid challenge. Let's use a stupid sight. Why not? Oh, he's not even playing. Bro's not playing. Can I hit him? Oh, I, wow. This is evil. I'm going to do it. I should probably feel bad about doing this. I should feel really bad about doing this. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh, what have I done? Lord, forgive me. Things I don't understand. <laughs> That was actually just so mean. That was a meanie bobini sentinel move. I'm gonna do it again. Nope, move. I'm gonna put them claymores down. Oh, that's right. This is my super tactical class. I was just using this to mess around and search and destroy with the boys. Turns out it's actually a camo grinding class as well. Nice. 
This is a horrible, horrible class. <laughs> this is why I'm so glad I saved the LMGs for last because I can't take them seriously. I love that the LMG challenges are just so brainless. I love it. I mean, look at that. Oh, we almost had it. No, wait. We still get the quad. And eh, maybe we can. You know, one thing Sledgehammer did say in the AMA is that they're going to be... Oh, hey, Forge, there we go. But yeah, I was going to say that they were talking about actually nerfing the Groot skin and actually temporarily removing it from the game. I advocated for them to permanently remove it. And people were trying to tell me like, oh, well, you'd have to give them a refund. Well, you can't really refund it because it was in the battle pass. I think they could just replace it with a new skin all around. Like straight up just replace it with something else. I mean, if you like the Groot skin because it's Groot, that's one thing, but most people are using it because it's kind of exploiting the visibility in the game right now. I don't really have like a lot of beef with it. I'm just tired of seeing it. And it's mostly because I know people are using it to exploit the game. I just really don't think that players are that good if they need to exploit the game so hard that they need to use an intentionally hard to see skin in order to win. That just sounds stupid. It doesn't really happen in any other FPS games, at least as far as I'm aware. I mean, I could be wrong, but Call of Duty has had the most amount of issues with this because it's probably intentional to get sales. There's been like multiple Rose skins. We even have the Black Noir skin from Modern Warfare 2 as well. And now most recently Groot. Also, I appreciate the heads up on the strafing kills. Apparently you do have to be moving side to side. This build isn't really made like for really good strafing, but I do have the stalker boots on. They're just noob tubing this car. Why? Stop. Hold the line. <laughs> I couldn't stop it. It just ran me over, bro. You have no idea how many times I've been run over by this tank. Too many to count, and I'm embarrassed about it. Since we only have two LMGs and two shotguns left, we can only really play like certain sections, I feel like, to get this done. Holy. Ooh. Wait, that was the last one, wasn't it? That, that randomly just got me forged right there. Okay, I'll take it. There we go. We'll cover the team. Come on, guys. Guys, we only have three guns left to get forged camo with, and then we're moving on to Priceless. I can't wait. <laughs> Excuse. Okay, I mean, I'll take that. We better not fail this. I swear to God. Oh, if I had that. Get on it, dude. Oh, okay. We got it. Whew. I was going to say, I want to play this whole match. We're going to finish everything this match. This one's going pretty good. We could actually knock it out. There's the double. Come on. That's the multi. There it is. Yes. All right. Shotguns are completely done. We are on the LMGs now. Come on, strafe kills. Let's do this. What? It's done already. Oh my god. All right, last LMG. Moving kills. That's not even hard at all. I just have to be moving while using this thing 25 times. Okay, yes. Nice, nice. Let's go. The only problem with this LMG is just that slow ADS. Like, I have to be sights up and then strafing. But, I mean, it works, though. Come on. He's just on the tank. What are we doing? Come on. Yeah! Let's go, boys! We will finish Forge Camo in this match. You know, another thing I don't think anyone brought up on the Reddit AMA. Why is the scoreboard broken for war? It always says zero kills and deaths. I don't know if I just missed something, but dude. Come on, man. Yo, I swear if we got it, but it didn't pop up, I'm going to be so mad. Oh, <laughs> there it is. We have completed Forge Camo for every gun in Modern Warfare 3, which can only mean one thing. I need to quickly put on the Cat AMR. It's one of my favorite guns to use in the game, and it's the first one I want to get Priceless Camo for. I think we just need to get three suppressed headshots. Shouldn't be that hard of a challenge. I just need to throw a suppressor on the gun. Okay, yeah, here's our Cat AMR. We just need three headshots, I think. One. Oh, that's not a headshot. Oh. Whew. If I don't get three headshots, I'm going to cry. There's one. Come on, one more. Uh, wait. 
Already? I only got two headshots. I'll take it. We got it, dude. We not only got forged for three guns in this match, but we also unlocked priceless camo for the cat AMR. Dude, I'm so hyped. Let's go. Woo! Yeah, we didn't even get one objective here at the end, but we got the camos, dude. I'm so hyped. Oh my god, and if you can believe it, we got nine forged camo challenges and the one priceless camo done in about an hour and a half. Now, granted, I did have some of those challenges slightly done. I feel like if I didn't, this could have potentially taken like two to two and a half hours, but that's still pretty good, man. That is so crazy. Look at the progress right there, dude. Here we go, man. There it is. Priceless camo on the cat AMR. I'm gonna take some of my attachments off. If I'm being honest with you guys, I'm not the biggest fan of priceless camo, but it's just, it feels so good, so rewarding to have earned the camo, done the challenges, and unlocked it. We're definitely gonna go to private match and get a nice inspection for you guys. Okay, guys, here it is. Priceless camo on the Cat AMR Sniper in Modern Warfare 3. I would greatly appreciate it if you guys could drop a like and subscribe. If you haven't already, for the camo grind on Modern Warfare 3, we've been going so hard. And I just want to take a second and sincerely thank you guys so much for the support on the Modern Warfare 3 videos. Now that we have the priceless camo challenges unlocked, all I have to do is complete those challenges. So I will be working on that for you guys, obviously. And then we're going to unlock Interstellar camo. But then beyond that, you know, I'm potentially going to grind zombies for Borealis camo. And I can make videos on that if you guys want to see that as well. But I'm also going to be doing some other types of content as well you know i'm gonna have some funny moments with the boys and stuff like that potentially some modern warfare 3 Mythbusters and stuff like that but if there's anything else you want to see on the game definitely let me know with a comment sledgehammer games did say that gun game is coming very soon and we could potentially do some gun game reactions on that when it drops but either way thank you guys very much for watching i really do hope you guys enjoyed watching me grind for priceless camo on modern warfare 3 again thank you guys so much for the support on the modern warfare 3 videos i fucking love you guys hope you have an amazing rest of your day if you did enjoy this video and you want to see some more camo grinding on modern warfare 3 make sure to drop a like i'll see you guys later Outcome. Thank you.